Hello semua, apa khabar? Kembali lagi bersama saya Sharifah Amani bersempena International Women's Day 2022 yang didukung oleh Biz of Re. Panjang pandemik ni memang banyak industri yang terkesan namun kita selalu terlepas pandang terhadap anak-anak seni kita. Jadi kempen ini diharap memberi sokongan dan ruang untuk mereka berkongsi cerita dan pengalaman. Sekarang ni bersama saya adalah seorang yang saya sangat kagumi, seorang yang sangat lantang berjuang untuk industri kita, seorang pelakon filem dan teater dan juga heroin filem prebet sabu Lin Mayford. Hi. How are you? Apa khabar anak seni? Eh, kamu baik alhamdulillah. <laughs> Apa khabar anak seni? Ah, uh, alhamdulillah. Yeah. <laughs> Jadi, kita sekarang ni kita nak bercakaplah sedikit sebanyak tentang apa yang kita terpaksa harungi masa uh, pandemik, masa PKP hari itu. Pasal kita semua memang dah tahu industri kita memang tengah susah dan saya tahu awak pun banyak membantu sesama komuniti kita. Jadi, first question lah. Okay, first kita nak tahu, boleh tak awak kongsi sikit perjalanan kerjaya awak sebelum hmm. semua ini berlaku? Okay, saya um, berlakon agak uh, lewat, only okay. at the age of 26. Okay. Uh, dulu saya kerja dengan bapa electrical engineering. <laughs> okay, something so else. Okay. So, uh, after that, after my first uh, Chinese film, and then um, I begin to give up the rest there. So uh, it's struggling, I thought, to jadi seorang pelakon Cina di Malaysia. Betul. Market is so damn small. Betul. Then, um, tapi tiba-tiba di offer berlakon dengan Emma Fatima di Istana Budaya Cui right. Theatre. Right. So after that, um, because of that theatre, I came to know Aswara. So at the age of 26, I have to decide whether I nak continue my journey as an anak seni or I nak uh, leave the industry and bought something else to survive. So I pilih uh, menerus, but how? How to menerus that job? Betul, betul. Kita duduk kat rumah aja tak buat apa-apa. Betul. So I choose to uh, pergi belajar, uh, because through that um, bukan jadi seorang um, belajar ya. I can sambung, I can continue my journey as an anak seni, because it is where on um, I get in touch with the industry people. True. It is where I learn on um, something else than just acting. I love producing exactly in, in Aswara. Betul. Uh, what gave you the strength to say that I will produce this? Because I believe that this story should be told. This story should be shared to more Malaysians. Dulu I tabel cakap bahasa Melayu. Mm. I Chinese a Chinese educated girl yang mm. Mandarin, ha, uh, Mandarin uh, speak English and then lepas tu nak pergi US. I was in the state uh, for one semester. I oh. bought theater kat situ. Belajar juga. Belajar juga. Mas- After form five. I okay, went yes. Okay. So um, I nampak parah je. I tak pernah fikir Malaysia ni. This is my home. No, I don't feel the sense of belonging here in Malaysia. It was only until I um, masuk aswara. Belajar bahasa Melayu itu level yang superficial. Tapi sebenarnya through that journey, through years in Aswara, I learn how to be an anak Malaysia. Oh, tanti, salah bukan tanti, tanti itu lain maksud. Pogo tanti, salah lagi, salah lagi bukan bukan salah. Tak betul yang aku sebut. Han ada guna mana? Hah? Eh, takkanlah anak suara aku sebut betul sama-sama macam orang Cina sebut. Lidah aku ni lidah Melayu tu dah. Dengar Mak Yong lah, bulu boleh naik tentu. I tengok rantai, wow, menarik. Nak belajar juga. Together we perform in Tokyo Festival. Yeah. We, uh, we were invited yeah. uh, to tour in Nanning. All these moment-moment, it, it just makes me feel that, wow, this is a, a Malaysian. Uh, now I'm a, and I can yeah. probably say I seorang anak Malaysia. The through jati that journey, the jati diri, the you know, identity of being a Malaysian. Yes, it yeah. was through theatre. It was through um, you know uh, the Asra journey with the Ade Ade. Yeah, Abang Abang. Yeah, true journey. It was journey that unite uh, us as Malaysian. It is journey that and changed my perspective. Dari nak pergi barat sekarang, kantoi jatuh cinta dengan tanah ini. Pah. So Tana so Akiku is actually a story about a Chinese girl, you know, who uh, fall in love with this land. China, yeah, nenek moyang punya um, uh, tempat. Uh, 
uh, good luck here. But we, the second, the third generation Chinese, we are born here. And ini lah, si di sini lah tak nak akhirku, our last land. Oh, it's so beautiful. Tanah besar Cina, di atas. Tanah Melayu, di bawah. Nanya ke maksud, rantau, selatan. Your journey from uh, studying uh, and then uh, working with your dad, lepas tu masuk balik belakonan, Emma mm. Fatima brought you back in. Mm. So your journey got so many parts. Yeah. Now I want to know the part when you, after you work so hard and you're still getting there and things started to look like, okay, it's picking up and then pandemic. Ah. So do you remember the moment, uh, mm. the masa benda tu terjadi and what were you doing and apa you rasa at that time? I was uh, so depressed. Um, time to I, sebenarnya telah di offer uh, <gasps> untuk buat sambung I punya master dengan um, Beijing Film Academy. Yeah. Then uh, the plan, okay. Um, tiga tahun punya study, and then ada juga uh, offer lakonan di Beijing. Wow. That's a big deal. Yes. Yeah. Then tiba tiba um, pandemic, and then. Um, the lockdown and I cannot go to China and then um, the three years plan is gone so what to do next what is my future I bukan muda lagi pressure their parents <laughs> gonna settle down I was uh, 32 33 la, at that time so I felt lost and then um, sometimes uh, I broke down la. I cried a few times and then uh, don't know what to do next because lost, you feel uh, the the loss of the job is one thing, mm. but also you know when the directions the, exactly what did you do to to make sure that the sunny is still living in you and you're still creating. This is true for my heart. I really want to give thanks to the campaign of a Kaba Ami When the, when I received that that moment, I I was like, <sighs> well, I was like, you, you I we cannot hug each other at that time. But it was like a virtual hug at that time. Don't worry, we are in, in this together. Drama. <laughs> drama. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Along the way then, I had a kawan-kawan yang uh, approach IA. May is Crew TV. Yeah. Kita buat ini, nak berita, this and that. So I start to think, kalau I cannot help, you know, financially, Maybe I can buy, you know, from them and then uh, send to another crew, send to another anak seni. And then I also have friends who bought breakfast, uh, sarapan pagi, bought uh, sourdough, Chinese, uh, Malay, uh, Indian, other. So I ambil contact semua alamat. <laughs> I buy from one anak seni and send to another seni. So along the way, I myself, I didn't tell, some I didn't tell, uh, I yang hantar pun. Okay. I don't want the credit. I, I, do not need you to repost on the book. But because um, I I felt um, uplifted, I felt that it's like a, 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 a hugging as well, you know, uh, nothing much I can do, but this is a very little thing that I can send to you and send my love. Uh, don't worry, we are this together. A bit, a yeah, very small thing, but the love is there. It's that kind of thing. Ah, continuous. I, Susa, yes, I lost the opportunity in Beijing. Yes. It was a big deal. 20 episode drama for <gasps> Chinese uh, Malaysians. You know how rare is that? It's very rare. <laughs> it's very rare. <laughs> yeah, and three years study. I bukan muda lagi if I'm in my 20s, uh, then Maybe. I can say wait three years. 32, 33 really is a big struggle. Want to continue also uh, or not, also another question. So anyway, so I thought, yeah, then, but you are not the worst. Uh -huh. You still have put on the, the table. table. Then still can not? pay a bit of yeah. bills. You do not have financial issue at that time. Yeah, even though my focus were empty, but I'm blessed. I dapat do a scholarship. Man. So I can still survive. So I thought, okay, why not I have, you know, a bit. And along the way, I felt um, um, better. Yeah, and then I see, I see them posting pictures, uh, dapat makanan, they're happy. I would happy! Yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought, oh, what else can I do? Because sending food is just, um, you know, how many food, food can, can I buy? You know. Then what's next? What's next? So when I dapat tahu uh, uh, garajan pinas, um, they have um, mm -hmm. dana. Mm -hmm. So um, yes, I, okay. I I blast out. First I bought some jeju. I apply. I went through the struggling process, and then bila dapat, you know, it takes months, right? Yes. Uh, so after I dapat, I berani 
bagi promote, bagi blasak, bagi tahu um, Chinese uh, industry industry people that may not be uh, diorang tak tahu uh, not aware or not accessible to all these things I tell them in groups I say um, Inas Gerajan ada bagi bantuan ni you all pergi uh, apply lah but sadly yeah, some will say um, kita bukan orang Melayu diorang bantuan ni untuk orang Melayu je orang Cina susah then I say no I'm a Chinese and I'm I got proof. the fun yeah, I'm, I'm proof. proof then some say Uh, itu proses itu very susah. You, a lot of people work and uh, writing is our BM tak power. Then I say, no, don't worry. I help you to translate. <laughs> I got you. I can call you. So I did. You know, I called them. Why are you crying? <laughs> nice. <laughs> because it's I so heard the phone. No, because I heard my friends' stories. No, I I know they are struggling. They have kids. You know, and then cruel they all. Macam kita, dia orang tada IPF, tada so so. But how many bricks can you sell if Keraja is helping us grab the opportunity. I don't want you all to lose it just because you all say you are Chinese and then you all don't know. Never mind, I teach you since I have bought. Doi ata boleh bagi, I bukan dati. Since I got the three years journey in Aswa, BM tak power tapi cukup untuk apply dana. I call this friend of mine and I tell their struggle sampai kena pinjam doi. I call dia, I marah dia. Ask him to approve. I gave him sample. I sang go show soft copy. I plus plus. Oh. And then yeah, um, about ten of them applied. Uh, but you know this kind of thing first, first, first come first serve. So yeah, some dapat, some tak dapat. Tapi ada satu lagi ya, because I I push so much to the point that <laughs> he don't want to pick up my phone and call my call. <laughs> he felt burdened. Uh, but but uh, I'm I'm okay. I don't take it personally because um, I share info. That's one thing. And then I follow up. Did you apply? Yeah. And then if you got any problem, you can share with me. I got you. And then later I'll follow up. Okay, dapat tak? Macam ibu. Yeah, but because this is the only the only thing that I rasa I mampu buat. Yeah, uh, because if you have the education and orang mm, lain tak ada, mm. kita kena pass it on. Yeah, yeah. And if it, if awak able to, you manage to get it, mm. and it is possible, so you are proof that it's can. Yes, yes. So that yeah. is also healthy. Jadi selepas uh, menolong people through educating them, uh, uh, a bit of tolong the beli uh, they are each other's product and helping maklumat. Uh, exactly, kongsi <laughs> maklumat. Then uh, you know you try to give back in your own way. So all of that happened. So now things are getting better, sedikit kan, yeah. getting a bit lighter kan. What is next and what is happening now? What is the interesting bits and where are you going from here? You know the funny uh, things about our Anasani life is we always say we're going to give up and then we cannot give up. Yeah, <laughs> so many it? times too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> every day I woke up, I want to give up, I want to give up, and then eh, eh, eh life goes on, life goes on. Always I, another reason. Yeah, I I seriously thought about giving up uh, in October. Uh, time to I mula nak cari kerja, I buka LinkedIn account, hmm. <laughs> uh, take it seriously, buat a resume. Betul betul. Tiba tiba, one day I receive a message from Zani, my uh, private support director. Okay. Me, private support telah dipilih oleh Finas untuk mewakili Malaysia tu Oscar dan akan ditayangkan di pawagam Malaysia tahun ini. <laughs> oh, eh, hey, tak jadi give up plan. I. <laughs> one more time, one more time. Ish. Ish. So yeah, um, uh, dengan syukur uh, ni ya uh, selepas uh, proses aku ditayangkan uh, ada perubahan besar dalam keputusan beliau raya. Sini banyak orang luar yang datang. Orang luar, just like me lah. I always feel like that. Now uh, I ada lah job job um, commercial job job mm. um, um, TV drama. Uh, then I must uh, highlight that you know during during the pandemic during the lockdown, I because I'm the type that cannot do do at home and didn't do anything. Right? <laughs> so besides my online study with Beijing Film Academy. Semua webinar online yang pasal industri film, bigit Chinese one from Taiwan ka, ka Finas Malaysia ka Europe what I join. Sampai dia orang sometimes this eh every webinar nampak nama muka you. Muka I. And then what else I learn vlog. I, I, dulu tak tahu I don't know how to manage uh, okay. social media and yeah. 
numbers of following pun tak tinggi. Yeah. Then, then I've been thinking, but this is the trend now. Brands want to engage you, you know, drama, series, film, apa apa. They look at your following, so don't blame the um, I punya following tak banyak and always uh, stay there aja. So I thought, why don't I use this time period to um, learn new skill set so that it could be uh, something that when uh, pandemic is gone then mm. uh, I got this new skill set and then I got I can build my social media and then that will enable me to gain more uh, jobs and then uh, so meneruskan career I sebagai seorang pelakon why not so yeah I force myself <laughs> to learn editing and stuff like that uh, and then yeah now uh, I would say most of my rezeki datang daripada um, job-job commercial yang buat engagement yang skills yang I belajar during pandemic oh. Then, today I'm very happy because I finally got a picture I'm coming to Aeon to film a Malaysia TV show I'm going to go to So, melalui keberanian awak, melalui usaha awak sendiri, uh, that seems to me uh, awak uh, boleh bebaskan diri anda daripada this kepompong of being at home and don't know what to do. You mm-hmm. are able to break free from this whole pandemic. Mm-hmm. But for you, mm-hmm. apakah definisi bebas? Oh, this is a tough question. <laughs> it could take me two hours to say. <laughs> okay, I, I guess uh, at different stage of life, uh, my answer would be different. Okay, and true. Right now, right now at the age of uh, 34, uh, I would say uh, for me, free of freedom is financial freedom. Through these uh, two years of lockdown, I've learned that it's important to have saving. Especially anak seni, kita kan tak ada EPF, tak ada susu. Who is there to protect us? Uh, Vida, rasa sangat salah dengan family kita sebab kita tak bagi <laughs> <laughs> And then now nak dia orang tolong kita pula. No. So if you want to continue your journey in um, the art industry or what, uh, make sure that um, you have um, money in your pockets. Uh, then uh, you are free to do anything that you like. Yeah. <laughs> no, saya selalunya uh, bila kita cakap dengan anak seni, uh, kita selalu dengan dreams and hopes hmm. and stuff. And uh, saya memang suka benda tu. Tapi sekali sekali bila saya bercakap dengan orang yang memang bercakap tentang realiti yang kita hmm. hadapi setiap hari, it's very refreshing. It's hmm. very refreshing. Okay, so now because it's for International Women's Day 2022, hmm. apa pesanan Mifa nak bagi kepada wanita di luar sana? Maybe a bit of more inspiration to share with the people. Yeah. Lu pu chuan ren suan meaning. Okay. You tahu kan? Now your Mandarin improved, right? Yeah, it. tapi I I see it tak paham. <laughs> so, uh, it means okay. uh, if the mountain doesn't move, then you make a road around it. If the road does not move, you go and move it. You find a way out. Hmm. So uh, this is what I learned throughout the pandemic time lah. It's so good. It's so simple, but it's so good. <laughs> thank you so much for coming to share your story with us. Uh, thank you for sharing your ilmu with everybody that you, whoever you can reach out to. Thank you for instilling hope, but through um, active mo- movements. So you're so inspiring. And thank you for standing up and representing us as the. <laughs> Icon, Duta, Ambassador, apa khabar anak seni? <laughs> don't, don't like that. I never say <laughs> But thank you very much. I really appreciate you and I'm very happy to have somebody so brave and so willing to help others in our industry. We need more people like you. Thank you. And you. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you to semua orang yang sudi join kita. Mayfair, Sharifah Amani. Jumpa lagi.